All right, for this project, I'm going to show you how to create a new project, how to set up the file structure that I want from module six, module seven, and even into module uh, eight, the final project. And then I'm going to show you how to turn in your assignment. So I'm going to first go to new project and I'm going to uh, put in here module uh, six uh, practice problem one, something like that. Okay. I'm going to make sure that it's uh, the latest and greatest. I think I like 12, so 3, 1, 2. I'm not going to have the main.py selected, and I'm just going to click Create. And it's going to go through that process and create all of the uh, the skeletons and everything. Everything's getting made down here. Okay. Uh, at this point, I want to connect into my GitHub. Okay. So you'll notice that if this is my ENV, you could maybe call it VENV. Okay but this is your virtual environment. You'll notice that if you go into your virtual environment um, and you look down under builds, that these are the packages installed. So right now I just have pip installed, okay? And if I wanna update pip to the latest version, I would just say specify to the latest version, install the package, wait for it, and it says it's installing. So it'll finish doing the install and it's installed. And now you'll see it's the latest version. If I wanted to add a package, I can come into here and I can say T calendar, which is here. And I can just install that package. And when it finishes installing, I will, I'll have access to that, to that package. Okay. It means it's installed. I can use it in this virtual environment. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and set up with VCS. So I'm going to come up here to VCS and you might need to do enable version control or something, but I'm going to share the project on GitHub. I've already connected my GitHub project. Again, if you go into settings, um, you can come down and click on version control and click on GitHub and you can add an account if you need to. I have, this is my account, BA Marshall 06. It's already added into my PyCharm. It will be on every single project after that, that I'll have access to. So I want to share this project on GitHub. It's going to be called mod six, so module six, practice one, and I'm just going to leave it as a remote and I'm going to click share. And it's going to go ahead and create that repository. I'm going to click add and it's going to make that repository. Now, if I go out to my GitHub, okay, so let's open this up and go to repositories. Um, you'll see that I have this new repository. If I open it up, it'll be empty. There's really nothing here. There's just this one little folder. Okay. So I'm going to show you what happens as you put stuff in. Okay. So first we're going to make a folder. This is how I want it. I want to have it created. So I'm first create a folder and say app, and then we're going to create a, a main file. So main.py and notice that it's going to say, do you want to add this to your Git? You know what? Just say, don't ask again and add it. And it will automatically put it out there and notice it turns green. Okay, meaning it hasn't been added yet. Okay. All right, let's close these down. Okay. So, and in app, we want to create a new Python file called functions. And in app, we can also create a new Python file called db.py. All right. That's kind of your basic structure. In main, this is where I'm going to put my all of my GUI stuff and all my functions are going to go into the functions here. And then I want to push this out to um, out to GitHub. So in my main, which is here, I want to start at the top and I want to just put in um, my name. Okay, my name and I want to put in the, the date. So 10, uh, 31, 2023. And I want to put in what it is. Um, let's notice how <laughs> notice how my uh, GitHub Copilot is trying to uh, trying to add a whole bunch of stuff, which is kind of cool. I like Copilot. So description, we could say uh, module six practice problem one. And I think practice problem one is uh, date difference. Okay. So we're not going to do anything yet. I, I'm going to, in fact, I think I'm going to turn off um, I'm going to turn off Copilot for a second just to make it so that it doesn't keep 
keep helping me with every every single thing. And I'm just going to go to the website. And so let's put that out here. I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to click on teaching. I'm going to go to our class, whichever class it is, is the same. I'm going to click on module six. I'm going to go to practice assignments. And I'm just going to take this whole first thing here. And I'm going to just copy that. And I'm going to paste that right into ChatGPT. So I'm in ChatGPT. I got 4.0. I'm going to say, um, first off, who I am. I am a uh, Python student. And I need to make a GUI with tkinter that will answer the following problem. All right. And then to solve this problem, we will first import the necessary modules, create a function. So I should have showed all that on there. But you notice this is what I put in here. I am a Python student. I need to make a GUI with the following problem. I pasted it in and this is what it's going to tell me. It's going to say import tkinter and then grab date and time. Then it's going to make these two uh, functions to make them difference, to display the difference. And then it's going to build out my GUI. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so let's move that over, get that out of the way, and we'll start building our app. So in our functions, I'm going to grab the two functions that were in, that were out in my, that, that ChatGPT gave it to us. I'm going to put them right in there. Okay. And it already is saying, I, I have problems like this, this, it doesn't know what's going on. Right. So I'm going to say up here, import, um, date, time, Wait, sorry, from date time, import date time. Okay, and that will mean use those libraries there. Okay, all right, let's go back to main. And in main, let's put out our whole um, TK, like our whole uh, display, what it's going to look like, right? So we need to do some imports here. So we need to come and say, uh, import T Kinter as TK. I, and that's just, as it's just an alias makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to type it the whole time. And this command right here doesn't understand, um, that the display differences is actually over here. Okay. So what you need to do is include it, right? So you could say from app, which is the folder where it is functions import display differences and now it will see it so you could say from app so we're here we're here we need to go into the app folder and into functions so app functions import the name of the actual function which is display differences okay all right um now let's come back over here and let's take this date data Okay, and let's put, let's just ask ChatGBT to put this into a main function. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to say, uh, put this, just bring that up a little bit. Um, put this into a main function and I'm going to paste it in and then it's going to regenerate the code for me and put it into a main function. Okay. So it's finishing all of that. And I can actually, I can actually tell it at this point, let it do it, let it finish this thing. Um, I can say stop generating. Okay. So now I say, I want to move the display differences to 
a file functions.py in a folder called app. Okay. And that should take it out of, out of that, out of this. Okay. So inside the folder, create a functions, move date differences and display differences to inside the functions in your main script, import functions.py, which is what I just showed you. And then it's actually giving you the code. Okay. So I want to move the display differences to a file function. Okay. And it actually put them both into there. So it actually moved them both. Okay. So what we're looking at here is it's still, it's still re, um, that is still working. Come over here. And now that is also working. So just to make it even easier, I can just copy this code here and go back to my PyCharm and go to my functions and just paste the whole thing here. Okay. And then if I go back to main, I can just grab this whole thing, copy code. Okay. Come back over here to main, paste it in here. Okay. All right, so it is sending in the date pairs using this, this Lambda function, come over here to functions. And I have this little error saying, I don't know what TK, TK enter is. So when I run this the current file, it shows up up here. Let's see if I can grab it. it is not very big, All right? So we want to maybe maximize it, compute differences. Okay. It does not, it does not look like we want it to look like, right. And it also says name error, teak enter not defined. So if you have this problem, you could just say, let's just copy that, right. Go back to chat GBT and say in the functions dot P Y I am getting this error and then just paste in the error. And it will say, oh, my apologies, I forgot. Okay. So it'll probably tell you, you know what, do the import on that page. Okay. So if we go back over here, go to functions, we can also do the import there. Um, import tkinter, just like that. And let's just double check that that's what it looked like. Yeah. They actually say import tkinter stk, which you absolutely don't have to do. But if you do that, then down here, you got to change it to tk. Okay. Now let's run it again. So go back to PyCharm and let's run it again. I want to run main. So I click here. Sometimes if I come down, I can say, if I right click here and say run main, okay, it will run main, which is kind of nice. So let's open that up and it's running. Okay. And it. It just kind of added some cool stuff, right? Okay. Now I can, I can just stop it. It stopped. Now, if I, even if I'm on functions and I click run, it's going to keep running main. So I don't have to worry about being in here. Okay. Um, so I can hit click run and it will run again. Here this is now say, let's pretend that I want to make this GUI a little bit bigger, right? So I can go into main. I can say, uh, come back over here to ChatGPT, make the GUI um, 400 by 600. Okay. And then it's just going to say, add this line of code. Just like that. So I'm going to copy that line of code. I'm going to go back over to PyCharm and I'm just going to put it right below here. And now when I run it, it will be much bigger. Okay. All right. So this, this program did not do what I wanted to do, but at least it, 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 it's on the right track, right? So here's my functions and my functions are on a different page. Here's my main and here's my DB with nothing in it. So in my main, I did replace everything that was in here, all the stuff that was at the top. So let me go back up and just add my name back to it. And let's give it what it is. So this is module six, practice one. And 
let's just say this is the date difference calculator. Okay, like so. And then I can come down and make sure that stuff is initialized that has or um, that is commented. These are pretty good comments here. I should probably put in some comments here. Um, these are the date pairs. Pretty cool. Now in the function, difference between pair zero, pair one, okay, um, this will actually show the difference, okay. All right, so now I'm all finished with this. Let's just pretend it, it all works great. Now I wanna actually push it up. If I come over here, I have I have two things. I can either just like come over here. I think it's this guy. Yeah, on this guy here, I could just say, take all my changes. And I'm not sure, yeah, I don't need to worry about any of these. Okay, so let's, we don't need to worry about these, but I want my changes here, so all three of these. And I've gotta type in a message. So I'm going to be like, uh, first attempt um, to, to adjust. I'm just going to click commit. And now it'll commit it, but I haven't pushed it yet. So now I need to push it. So I could either come over and just say this, this little button here, push commits it, and this button here pushes it. So I can just say a little up arrow, and it's going to say, what do I want to do? Yeah, I want to push it out, so I'm going to push it. All right, and then you'll see down here that it's pushing and it will say it's been pushed. So now if I go back out here and I refresh this module, okay, notice I have my app, I have my functions, all my functions are in here. I can go back up to the actual module. I can look at the main and all of that is in here too, okay? So that makes it easy, okay? That makes it easy for me to like look at it and to and to see your code, okay, so I can grade it. Uh, all you need to do at that point is go to settings, and then collaborators, and then just add me as a collaborator. And my, what you're gonna add here is BA Marshall 06. Add me as a collaborator to this project. You'll need to do that for every single project. Keep your projects private so that other students can't see your code. All right, um, I think that's just about it. I think what we wanna do is submit so let's just to submit um let's submit that and then i wonder if there's a way i should get a note on how to on how to do the collaboration I think if you copy, once you're into where your stuff is and you're all logged in, I think if you copy this, I think if you just put that into the notes, I should be able to see everything. So let's let's just see how it goes, but copy this and paste that in as, you're, as how you're gonna turn it in. And so you just, just have four links and let's just see how that goes. All right, let's try it out and see how it goes.